Once upon a time we set out to explore the cosmos, not with astronauts, but with robotic scouts. The Voyager program was born from a rare planetary alignment, allowing spacecraft to slingshot from one giant planet to the next. Two probes, Voyager 1 and Voyager 2, were launched in 1977 to visit Jupiter and Saturn, with Voyager 2 continuing to Uranus and Neptune, their mission to reveal the mysteries of the outer planets and their moons. Packed with cameras, spectrometers, and magnetometers, these probes were the Swiss Army knives of their era. Voyager 2 launched first, followed by Voyager 1 on a faster path, a cosmic relay race. They became our emissaries to the unknown, carrying humanity's curiosity beyond the asteroid belt. Each Voyager carried a golden record, a time capsule of Earth's sounds, music, and images, greetings in 55 languages, and a message, this is who we are. It was a gesture of hope, a message in a bottle cast into the cosmic ocean. The universe awaited, and we had just knocked on its door. The Voyager's journey was a leap into the unknown, driven by questions about our place in the cosmos. Would we find dead rocks or worlds with secrets of their own? The adventure was underway, and humanity watched as our robotic explorers sailed into the deep. The story of Voyager is the story of our desire to reach beyond ourselves. And so, the grand tour began. Voyager 1 blazed a trail through the solar system racing first to Jupiter in 1979. Its images stunned us. Jupiter's great red spot was a raging storm, and Io, one of its moons, erupted with active volcanoes, reshaping our understanding of planetary activity. The solar system was alive in ways we'd never imagined. Voyager 1 then used Jupiter's gravity to slingshot toward Saturn, arriving in 1980. It revealed Saturn's rings as intricate, dynamic structures and discovered Titan's thick, mysterious atmosphere. With its primary mission complete, Voyager 1 veered out of the solar system's plane, heading for the stars. It became the most distant human-made object, a silent traveler in the cosmic dark. Today it's billions of kilometers from home, so far that a radio signal takes nearly a day to reach it. In 2012 it crossed the heliopause entering interstellar space, the first human creation to do so. Voyager 1 continues to send back data, a lonely messenger from the edge of the sun's influence. Its journey is a testament to human ingenuity and curiosity. Every second it drifts farther, carrying our story into the unknown. It whispers across the void, a reminder of how far we've come. Voyager 1's odyssey is a symbol of our relentless quest to explore. It is a silent ambassador, forever moving outward. The journey into the void continues. As Voyager 1 sped away, astronomer Carl Sagan proposed a final, poetic act. Turn the cameras back for one last look at home. The idea was risky. Pointing sensitive instruments toward the sun could damage them, and the planets would appear as mere specks. But Sagan argued the value was not scientific, but deeply human. After years of debate, NASA agreed. On Valentine's Day 1990 from 6 billion kilometers away, Voyager 1 turned its camera back. It captured a mosaic of the solar system, a family portrait from the edge of our neighborhood. The images were faint, the planets reduced to tiny dots, Earth was barely visible, a pale blue pixel in a sunbeam. The cameras were then shut down forever, their mission complete. The data began its long journey home, carrying a final message from the edge of the solar system. This last glance was not about science, but about perspective. It was a cosmic farewell, a wave from the threshold of interstellar space. The family portrait would soon change how we see ourselves. Voyager's final photograph was about to become iconic. The images trickled back to Earth, assembled into a mosaic at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory. Among the faint dots, one image stood out. Earth, a tiny point of light suspended in a sunbeam. Carl Sagan called it the pale blue dot. Our planet, reduced to a single pixel, seemed fragile and alone in the vastness. The image wasn't about scientific discovery, it was about perspective. It showed us our world as it truly is, small, vulnerable, and precious. No borders, no conflicts, no hint of our dramas, just a speck in the cosmic dark. Every person who ever lived, every story ever told, played out on that dot. The pale blue dot forced us to confront our true scale in the universe. It was a humbling, unifying vision, a reminder of our shared home. The scattered sunbeam was a camera artifact, but it made Earth seem even more special. This image became a portrait of all humanity, a snapshot of our existence. It was a visual poem about our place in the cosmos. The pale blue dot endures as a symbol of humility and wonder. It changed how we see ourselves, forever. Why did a single blue pixel shock the world? Because it made our insignificance undeniable. For centuries we imagined ourselves at the center of everything. 
The pale blue dot shattered that illusion, not with words but with a photograph. It made the Copernican principle real. We are not special, not central, just one planet among billions. The image bypassed intellect and spoke to the heart, delivering a jolt of humility. On that dot lived everyone you love, every human who ever was. Our triumphs and tragedies, our conflicts and dreams all played out on a mote of dust. The photograph challenged our self-importance and called for perspective. It made our divisions and conflicts seem petty. The pale blue dot is a silent sermon on humility and unity. It's one thing to read about our place in the universe, it's another to see it. The image is a call to rise above our differences and cherish our only home. The shock was the sudden visual realization of our true place in the cosmos, and that realization changed us. The pale blue dot became more than a photograph, it became a cultural icon. It inspired environmental movements and philosophical reflection. From that distance borders vanish and conflicts seem absurd. The image reminds us, we share a single, fragile home. It's a call to protect our planet, to act as stewards rather than conquerors. The photograph's legacy is not scientific data, but a shift in perspective. It draws people into science, showing the beauty and humility of a cosmic worldview. The real discovery was about ourselves, our vulnerability, our unity, our potential. Despite our smallness, we achieved something extraordinary. We built a machine that looked back from the edge of the solar system. The pale blue dot is a testament to human curiosity and intelligence. It bridges science and everyday life, offering not just facts but wisdom. The image is both a lesson in humility and a source of wonder. It reminds us that our greatest strength is our ability to dream and explore. The pale blue dot forces us to reconsider our place in the universe. For millennia, we believed we were the center of everything. The photograph tells a different story. We are a small part of a vast, ancient cosmos. This realization is humbling but also liberating. Our meaning is not imposed by the universe, we create it together. True value lies in our connections to each other and to our fragile world. The image urges us to rise above our divisions and see the bigger picture. Every war is a civil war, every act of harm to the planet is self-harm. Our problems shrink when seen from six billion kilometers away. The lesson is not despair but celebration of our improbable existence. In a cold, indifferent universe our world is alive and conscious. We are the universe's way of knowing itself. Our place may be small but our capacity for wonder is vast. Voyager 1's journey isn't over. It continues into interstellar space, sending faint signals from the unknown. When its power fades, it will drift silently for eons, a messenger from a distant blue world. The Voyager mission is a legacy of curiosity and collaboration. It reshaped our understanding of the solar system and gave us an image that changed our perspective forever. The pale blue dot is not an end point, but a beginning, a call to keep exploring. Our quest for knowledge is endless, driven by wonder and hope. As we look up at the night sky, let's remember Voyager and the tiny dot it showed us. Let it inspire us to work together, to cherish our world, and to keep reaching for the stars. The journey continues and we have only just begun. The stars are calling and we must go. Our future lies in curiosity, unity, and the courage to explore.